sometimes you gotta be aggressive. Sometimes you gotta let your game just come out, even if the coach maybe doesn't like it necessarily. I mean, we can work on the better thing to make sure that he fits on the other game. And then Kaminga has like screen setting and like getting out of the goals done with the player. You know, I think sometimes he'll set a screen and he'll pop because that's the easiest thing. Or the physicality of him rolling, he takes two people to move. So a lot of it is screening and spacing the floor and keeping the paint open. He's going to have to do it step of the way. And he can find that right here. It's a good experience with him. He starts with the first screen. Is there, has there been anyone that's been a pleasant surprise for you so far? Probably? Like either either in game or in practice, a uh, guy who might be an NBA player but doesn't have a big name right now? I mean, Kyle Guy, he's a pro. I mean, in my eyes, uh, it's, it's great to have his versatility as a playmaker and a shooter. Cam Oliver is, a, is an NBA athlete for sure. Um, still trying to put some things together in terms of the mental approach. Um, and then Kobe Ross last night was our uh, most effective guy in terms of hitting the paint. Um, I know he had a really good career in college, and he scored as well as assisted. If he can continue to do those things, I don't know if the ceiling is an NBA player, but he's going to be well on his way if he knows how to play. So those would be the three guys to stay. What about your Jordan Blackwood? Score is really good by him. Like, his pace is pretty really good. I think because he's always been a scoring guard, he's learning how to distribute as well as be aggressive. Um, so those are things he can still pick up. But he's also, like most of us, he's been very coachable. Um, I think he's gotten better in this game. The ball pressure for defense is what I've been most aggressive with. He's not a pretty good athlete. And then just making the right reads and keeping out of way to be aggressive and distribute. Tell just coaching Moses that he's been around the great players. He's on the greatest players he's been ever with with Kay Cunningham and Scotty Barnes. Do you think that experience can help him be a complimentary piece at the NBA level right away? Yeah, because he had to play a role. He had to fill a role before he kind of grew his uh, his abilities. Um, he had to fit in, and so I think that always.